Saturday, St. Mary's Derrick J became the school's all-time leading scorer, a 55-50 win at Upper Soda Valley that saw the Rough Riders even the record at 7-7. Congrats to our FCA leader in St. Mary's. Well, Zach Keith, a graduate of the Lincoln View FCA, puts together a dunktastic group of highlights in tonight's Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays. Kick off this week's top five, the Lima Cup, a pair of T-Bird dunks. First, it's Thomas Williams, the steal, and the flush. Gets it up and good, and Mark Janowski cleaning up the offensive boards. Put back slam for the Thunderbirds. Stay in the Lima Cup for our four spot. This time, a Lima senior slam. Marquise Coleman gets his own steal. And look at the hops for the two-handed stuff. If you haven't noticed this week's theme, it's high flying. We saw plenty of rim rattlers in the past eight days. Janowski making his second appearance on this week's top five. Another offensive putback slam, but this time didn't have to come back down. Look at that. Good finish against the Knights of Crestview in a rivalry contest of sorts. Up next, we head to top five editor Zach Keith's favorite gym in the area, the Palace. Wayne Trace's John Sin finding himself all alone, the vicious slam. How about the sins of old and the sins of new? Put him down for two. Out of all the dunks we had this week, this one takes the cake. The Big Mac Showdown, future Buckeye Justin Arntz of Versailles. Wow! Exclamation on the win at Fort Recovery. This slam, you're cleared for takeoff, Mr. Arntz, as the Arntz family continues their reputation for highlight dunks in this week's Lakefield Welding Top 5. 